that is a shed antler that's 77 yards from us that Jay refuses to go get. I mean, he found it. I don't mind letting him go down there and get it. I even let him keep it. But he won't walk down there. How rude. It's straight down. But it's, the good news, Jake, is it's straight back up. So you won't get lost. You should go get that shit out, Jake. Fine. So we had, <clears throat> right off the bat this morning, we had four buck deer that were coming down. We were up above on the skyline there. We had four buck deer coming down this canyon. And I thought for sure they would come up here in this shade and, and uh, bed down. So we made our way down here on the other side, the right hand side of this butte that we're on popped over and glassed the heck out of this there was doe and two fawns right down here on this game trail but that was it I don't even know where those buck deer went it's been weird so we got them found and uh, they're way down this canyon so rather than just keep pushing down this canyon. What we're going to do is we're going to back out this way, go back up to the truck, and then what we'll do is drive all the way back around and get kind of parallel with those deer. We, there's there's three bucks now. There was four. There's only three. Um, there's a really good four by four, and there's a huge, huge three by two. I mean, it's just a heavy horn three by two. He's out, out past his ear tips maybe a little bit. So... Um, and then there's a smaller, just a three or four point, just small deer. So, um, so I just sat here and watched those deer bed. And uh, so now we're ready to go. But in the meantime, Donnie insisted that he slip over into this next canyon and take a look. So I'm going to let him. And uh, him and Jake went down there. Jake, we finally talked him into going and getting that shed antler. So um, he's going to go do that. Flip the camera around and show you guys what we got going here. So stand by. So there's there's Jake and Donnie right there. They're gonna walk up there and pick up the shed antler. Jake's super amazing find. They're gonna walk right over there above that bush that the sun's hitting.
It's always fun to come around the corner, find us a shed antler horn. And then here's the base of the rock. I'm all about that life. Yeah, some of them shed antler horns. Not leaving any for them chopped up boys. Get him, get him with another one, Donnie. He's sick. He's down. All right, so as usual, I get a little, little shaky and a little jittery, so I'm having trouble holding the phone still. But what that was is that was Donnie's buck biting the dust right down there. Um, about 350 yards. Is that right, Jake? About 350. He shot, missed, cranked another one off. So whistle and he got him he punched him center center through the lungs so uh good job donnie thanks that was awesome good job jake we're gonna go down there and check that buck out where can they hide i have no idea <laughs> For this area, Donnie. Um, you gotta be happy about that. Yeah. Gotta work today. Yeah, we've got a we got a ways to go to get him out of here. We'll probably go up that way, but it's it's gonna be a chore. So Donnie did a good job shooting that deer, though. He that's a good representative buck. That's that's a real good buck for this area. Um, and maybe I don't know, maybe. Uh, after seeing some of those bucks that those guys are going home with, you gotta be real happy about that one. So, yeah, that's a great buck, Donnie. All right, so this this is what we were looking for. This is what it's all about. We've spent three days uh, pounding the hills. We've, we've spent hours and hours behind binoculars, behind spot and scopes, looking for a shootable buck, and we found him. This was one of those original four bucks that we saw coming down the hill. And uh, they, the three split off, and he was with two other bucks. There was him, and there was a great big ear tip wide three by two. And uh, ultimately, I, I gave Donnie a little piece of advice. I told him that I thought this was the better deer out of the two of them. Um, you know, if he's going to put this on the wall, this is going to be the one that, that looks more representative of a of a mule deer buck. So, and this is this is a dandy buck. The only thing. Uh, the only thing he's missing is brow tines, honestly. I mean, if he had some brow tines, he'd be a he'd be a bang up buck. So, but it's a good one. Um, this is uh, is this your first mule deer? No, nope, sir. No, nope. this is the third mule deer he's ever shot. How does this one rank? It's better than all the other ones. So yeah. you heard it right there. I didn't even twist yeah. his arm to say that. This is the best mule deer he's ever shot, and he did it with your old buddy Wyoming James. So now we've got, uh, as far as I know, we got one more tag left to fill um, in the other truck. And, uh, but we've got, we're going to spend the rest of the day getting this deer out of here. I promise you that it's going to be a long one. So, um, we've got to sickle him up behind Jake there and, uh, and get him out. So, uh, there was some talk about quartering him. I don't know that we'll do that. I think we can get this deer out of your hole, but, uh, we'll, uh, we'll check in with you on the drag out. But I just, I got to tell you, um, Donnie showed so much self-control over the last few days. Um, uh, I mean, he could have shot dozens of bucks and, uh, he just, he was waiting. He knew what he was looking for. And uh, he put the, he put the kibosh on this one at uh, 250 yards, roughly at the kill shot, I guess was about 250. So, but uh, he, uh, 
I stop those deer and as my buddy as my buddy Jameson will tell you I stopped those deer and uh, rifle went off and it went donk just like that he, he ran a few yards and tipped over and there it was so there you go Jameson I'm not ignoring you buddy so um, Wyoming James checking out we're gonna get some field dressing done here I'm gonna roll up my sleeves and field dress this deer and because uh, Donnie forgot his knife yeah the PA guy forgot his knife so and guess who has one I do it's right here Gene Ingram always have it never leave home without it Tim Wood <laughs> now you gotta go get you one so uh, old Tim so here's the deal Tim has been busting my chops about videos for for every day now and uh, so we had a deal we were gonna we were gonna work a deal where I was gonna get two minutes of uh, of video of him interview getting him interviewed and just prove to you guys that he's not as sour as he lets on but uh, uh, but my part of the deal now can't be done. We were, he was gonna, he was gonna have me go hunt a different area that I that I don't hunt. It's just it's bad mojo. I don't like to hunt in there. And Tim made a deal with me. He said he'd give me two minutes of video with him if I just went over north of the fence and hunted. And I was seriously considering it, but now it's not even an option. So, but uh, we'll we'll get some interviews with Tim. I promise you that he's he's getting some heat from home. He he needs to be nicer to the camera. Isn't that right, Diane? So. <laughs> So, um, uh, Don, I, I hope you're, uh, I hope you're seeing this. I hope you get to see this. I'll try to upload it tonight and get it uploaded. It's really slow upload. It takes like six hours to upload a video out here. So, um, I, I hope you're doing well, buddy. I hope Diane's still showing you these videos and, and we got your boy a good deer. So, uh, we'll be checking in with you guys shortly. Donnie. Peace. <laughs> see you guys. I will tell you this much, it's really, really nice having the extra help. So here's how this went. We went down. You think so? Yeah. I don't like the sound of that. We went. Yeah, we, we angled down here to the left. So there's a place we can come up? Yeah, right down. Oh, old Maverick the Wayfinder there. We'll get him. We come up, we come up over out here. Donnie, you want me to take your rifle? Yeah. You can get it off there. Okay, yeah, but we're going up this way. It doesn't matter. Thank you. Yeah. Where's, where'd you guys go? All right, so we are going now the other direction because we didn't quite have a way to go over there. So we're gonna we're gonna go right up here and. Uh, go down and we'll cross that cut there's our there's our meat packing crew right there and what we're gonna do is go right down here somewhere I know I came up here okay right about there so yeah that's all right Bob's a good guy so let me come down here oh downhill's bad you know that kid old Mike Mason a kid of mine he said Going downhill with a with a heavy load is not fun, and I'm I'm agreeing with him 100%. Let's see if I can't get this deer deer leg hung up on the, everything on the way down. Yeah, there it was. Oh, oh this is this is some kind of fun. Yeah, I don't know if I can climb that rim rock though. So I'll go this way. Oh. Here, let's get the meat packing crew. On the move. Ah, oh, it didn't even start, so. Oh, wait. I know, I was Everyone trying, but. Everyone, you okay? Come back. <laughs> Not happening. You all right? Yeah, I'm good. Sure? Yeah, you first. No, go ahead. But I don't want to fall on you. Well, maybe I'll catch you. Why did I grab a hind quarter? That was. Buck down. <laughs> I 
So we got uh, all four of the quarters back to the truck. What a haul. What an absolute haul. Here comes the, uh, here comes the shooter with the, the horns. And here comes the ax man. We're all good. Wow. So I'm gonna say this on record, on video. I am so glad that Maverick and Tim and Hunter decided to come down in there and help us. We'd have, we'd have been there till after dark getting that deer out of there. So much appreciated, boys. That's what they do. When they have coffee cups in their hands, that's their microphone. No kidding. Yeah. I didn't even know that. So it is a thing. That is a thing. Okay, I'm going to have to get some. <laughs> have to get some. have to unstack the cheese and mustard. Sure. So, uh, end of day three, and uh, it's just the three diehards left in the tent. You know, it's funny how uh, the camera gets turned on and people find their way to the exit. Um, I, uh, I know that one of our party has strict instructions to be nicer to the camera, but he figures that means going somewhere else when the camera gets turned on. So, anyway, so he left, but... Sooner or later, before this is all said and done, we're gonna we're gonna show you guys his uh, his soft underbelly. Wait, was, it, was that a fat joke? <laughs> all right, we're gonna show you his tender side. <laughs> so anyway, um, again, today was a really eventful day. Uh, we had we had very good luck. We saw those Donnie actually spotted those bucks right off the bat in the morning. Uh, we made it. We made a try for them. They were just too far down in there. So we backed out, made our way around, and we ended up ended up hooking up in a in a big big way. So uh, again, we wouldn't have, we'd still be up there packing that deer out if if the other truck hadn't have come down and helped us out, or the other guys in the truck have, hadn't have come down and helped us out. So um, we're down to uh, last day tomorrow. We've got uh, we got Bob. We got to get Bob a deer, and then we've got to uh, get most everything packed up, and then we'll head into town and and we'll all get well-deserved showers and uh, some proper food I uh, we had uh, we had Mandy's hangover burgers tonight I, I wish I would have fired up the camera for that but um, it was just it was fast we everybody was starving because we all skipped lunch so uh, we just uh, did some quick hangover burgers and they were a hit Mandy just so you know everybody loved them best burger ever that's what Donnie says yeah. and I'm again I'm I'm not twisting his arm when he's saying this stuff this is free will so uh, he says it's the best burger he's ever had. So um, I happen to believe it's the best burger I've ever had. But anyway, so uh, I just wanted to check out with everybody. Um, everybody's starting to kind of roll into into their sacks and and uh, call it an evening. Um, we're gonna we're gonna call it here real quick. So I uh, just wanted to let everybody know that uh, we're all done for the day. We we had a really good successful day, Dandy Buck, and we're gonna go try to do one more tomorrow. We've got Bob to uh, Bob to get one, and and that's just it. So. Wyoming James checking out from the end of day number three. Adios. Peace. <laughs>